What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. <laughs> well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think it'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... <laughs> Hey, it's snowing. Oh my God, it's the first snowfall of Christmas. Is that just so magical for you, little girl? Can you not wait to have a hot chocolate and cuddle up with Papa and tell him about all your Christmas dreams? Hmm? It's not even real snow. Look, it's dusting. It's pitiful. Hey, Dwight. Oh! Oh, yes. Damn it, Jim, you cannot throw snowballs in here. Well, it's not a snowball, because it's only a dusting, right? Look at that. There's a pebble in there. You could have killed me. Oh, don't be such a baby. Yeah, who's a little girl now? Then I challenge you to a snowball fight on the first real snow of winter. You got it. That sounds awesome. Can we all do it? No, Andy, it's a snowball fight. It's not fun. Go get your own thing. Great. <laughs> Jim. Okay. Jim. Cindy, you are so good. What? What's that? What's happening? Oh, she's asleep. Oh, narcolepsy, probably. Okay. Now, open your eyes and describe it to me. I don't know. It has four bedrooms and a loft. Oh my God! Now she's up. Yeah. And she's trying to describe how to correctly butcher a goose, but she's having trouble coming up with it. Okay. Cindy, go. Cindy, Cindy. Hold its neck back. Insert the knife beneath the jaw. Bring it all the way around. There's going to be a good amount of blood. But don't let that bother you. Have a bucket there for the blood and the, the innards and the feathers. You've reached the voicemail of Dwight Kurt Schrute. Please leave... I have no feeling in my fingers or penis, but I think it was worth it. Oh. Ah! Um, I was laying on the ground, defenseless, and uh, he just kept throwing him until he exhausted himself. And uh, then, how about icing it? LOL, Dwight. I need to give you your Christmas gift now. Because, um, well, I'll just tell you. What? For the past few months, I've been sending Dwight letters from the CIA. Are you serious? They're considering for a top secret mission. There's his application, and this is where I made him list every secret he promised he'd never, ever tell. <laughs> Last year, my boss, Michael Scott, took day off because he said he had pneumonia, but really he was leaving early to go to magic camp. Wow. So here's the gift. You get to decide what his top secret mission is. Sorry I didn't wrap it. You both have sizable Christmas bonuses coming your way. If I catch either of you messing with the other, I will give both bonuses to the other person. Can't do that. No, absolutely not. You need consequences, okay? I want you both walking on eggshells. Uh, I'm gonna. St Dwight really wants my bonus. He's trying to entrap me. Oh God, now I can't drink at this thing. I get really pranky when I drink. <laughs> Don't stop, Dwight. Dwight, stop. Oh, 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 Dwight, stop. No!
Oh no! Stop! Oh no! Yes! Take my rat! Okay, okay. Huh? You like okay. that? Seriously! Okay, huh? okay. Huh? <laughs> yes, I have a wig for every single person in the office. You never know when you're gonna need to bear a passing resemblance to someone. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier, and it seems that the CIA is gonna need to wipe down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh no, that would be very good. It costs seventy-five dollars. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. <laughs> the... You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. Oh, Jim. Hey. Hey, Toby. There's this female uh, a stenographer at the courthouse. No way. That looks exactly like you. That's incredible. Yeah, I know. It's uncanny. You know what's crazy? What? I can't reconnect with you right now. Hold on one second. Oh! You guys, this has to stop. Someone could have really gotten hurt. What if Meredith was taking her smoking break below that window? You know what would have happened? The shards of glass would have shaved her face right off. And yes. It might have been funny, but it also would have been incredibly tragic. Uh, yeah, I just got my replacement credit card. Do you want the number? Oh, it's uh, 4793-0032-3313. The security code is 927. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Bye. So Dwight did take the bait. Use my credit card numbers to send a $200 bouquet of flowers to my wife. From me. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Hey, pickles. Merry Christmas. Open immediately. Love Swiss cheese. White. <laughs> Didn't think your affectionate nicknames would be your undoing, did you, Jim? Let that be a lesson to you all. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've been attacked! Oh, my God! Oh, someone put a porcupine in my drawer! Oh, my God. Yeah, I was just sitting here on my desk, and I, I reached into my drawer to grab my toothbrush and, and some tooth powder, and. And, and all, all of a sudden, I was attacked by this bloodthirsty, rabid creature. I wonder, in this office, who has access to a porcupine? Or who in this office knows that I have access and is trying to set me up? You know what? Why don't we just call Animal Control? You might want to run that by Angela, because it's so cute. No. Porcupines don't have souls. They're like dogs. Yes, I'm calling from Dunder Mifflin. We have a very rabid porcupine in our office. Someone should come pick it up. Come down right away. Uh, I don't know. Let me ask. Uh, were you quilled? Yes, I was quilled. And what's his name? Henrietta. Oh. What? Oh, man. All right. Get her out of here, Dwight. I surrender. I do not accept your surrender. There's only one way that I would ever relent. Anything. You got it. You hit Pam in the face with a snowball while I watch. You're a psychopath. I'll take that as a no. I'm sorry. Okay. By the way, I'm not going to mess with your and Dwight's bonuses. I think it's causing more problems. So just be yourselves, have fun, and try not to let it affect your work. All right. I will definitely do that. All right. I'll tell Dwight. You know what? You're sitting and thinking and it's probably better if it comes from me anyway. Oh, man. Oh, I fell asleep. I took a nap. Hey, guys. Oh, I feel refreshed now. How's it going, Dwight? 
Took a little nap right next to Jim's desk. I feel so good right now. Mmm, cookies. What's everyone staring at? Oh, man, I was supposed to tell Dwight something. Come on, Jim. I got nothing. Okay, this is it. What? Go. What? What is this? What? Go, go. Oh, my God! Yeah. In the end, the greatest snowball isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. Merry Christmas.